Hi, this is Dr. Sanjay Kumar Sr. Today is the 21st of August, 2017, and the moment has arrived. As you can see over here, we have the partial eclipse of the sun, and it's actually the moon's shadow coming in front of it. And right outside our home here, we're at the perfect location we have in Beaverton. Uh, from my deck, we can see it. And after we put on our special glasses, we can actually have a safe way of viewing. This is very sentimental for me because this is my degree, aerospace engineering. Here is my degree from the University of Alaska and aerospace, you can see. And here's my wife holding the glasses. Okay, you can, let's, let's see them in the front. And then if you put them on, let's see how they look with her green eyes that are perfect for viewing. Okay, there it is. Okay, great. And here's my son with Suck. his brand new haircut already. And here is the image of Surya. So we're going to do a Surya Namaskar, who is the Hindu mythological character representing the sun. My uncle Surya Narayan was named after him. So stay tuned, everybody. We are going to be doing... Uh, coverage on my documentary channel. I encourage all of you to subscribe and we're going to keep track of the solar eclipse. I want you to also notice that I'm wearing my special shirt way back when I was the managing coordinator of the NASA Alaska Space Grant Program rocket project called SRP2 ages ago and it was one of my first most inspiring careers. So a lot of you who know me from years ago, remember when I was working there, it was a great chance to be able to learn also managerial skills, people skills, and of course technical. And you can see it close up. It is the University of Alaska Fairbanks, Alaska Space Grant Program, SRP-2, the only sounding rocket that had um, the ability to go to Mach 3, and it was the first one. I mean, to go to Mach 3 from a university, uh, made, a rocket made by students. It was also the first student-built rocket to be able to use GPS at that time. And it was sent up, we did some experiments with the Geophysical Institute of Fairbanks, Alaska to test out the ozone layer, uh, which is suited for Alaska where we had all of the uh, uh, issues of uh, global warming. So. Stay tuned, we're going to keep all of you posted on how this goes on for the next, I would say, 20 minutes. For 2 minutes and about 38 seconds of darkness. Okay, until then.